What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new episode of a solid squad builder. Today we have a semi-bargain oriented team. Now, the main player in it is a bargain gem that I've done recently, which I will put a link to at the end of this video. So before we do that though, I do want to say this team will cost you around 77k. If you choose not to get the informs, you get the ordinary versions of the player. That will knock about 50k off it. Maybe you might be able to pick this team up for 25k if you go for the not informs. And I imagine it'll be very, very similar in terms of ability if you do so. So before we get stuck into it, what I do want to say is if you are looking for a fast and reliable coin service, check out the gamekeys.co.uk. You can pick up coins at £8 per 100k, the cheapest around at the moment. And with discount code KURT, you can get 5% off that fantastic deal. So let's get stuck in with our first player in the team, and that is David De Gea. Now... This guy is actually a really good goalie on this game. I personally, I'm a big fan of him. Uh, the stats that don't really matter, like speed, are his low ones, and the rest of them are pretty good. Handling, ideally, would be a tad better, but great diving, great kicking, great reflexes, and great positioning, which for me is really important, and handling isn't too bad anyway, and he's a pretty solid goalkeeper indeed. Uh, helps bring the team together nicely as well. Left back, we have Gar Clichy, 88 pace, 75 passing, 78 dribbling, 79 defending. So a really quick, really solid defender there. His uh, work rate's a high attacking, medium defensive. So he does get up the pitch, but he does also do his defensive duties. Now, the first of the three centre-backs is Sacco. Now, this guy, uh, I really wanted to try him. Now, I assume he's going to be going down as the week goes on, because I believe... He might have been in last week's Team of the Week. I can't quite remember. But uh, nonetheless, he was a fantastic one. In fact, the new Team of the Week will be out soon anyway. So I'm not sure. I, I might be wrong. I'm a little bit confused about him. But anyway... um. He's a brilliant centre-back, 71 pace, 84 defender and 83 heading is very, very solid for a centre-back and he, for me, was one of the standout players in this team. Now, the second centre-back in this team, uh, originally I was going to go for Nemanja Vidic, but you really don't need him at all. I, I thought I did need him, but it turns out you don't, so instead I've gone for Koscielny, you can, I believe, go for any... Uh, centre back possibly it might need to be uh, any Premier League centre back possibly might need to be French or Manchester United but I don't think that is the case I don't think it's a big deal but anyway Koscielny's a really solid centre back great player for his pace and really good defending and heading Right back here we have Raphael. Uh, I think he is quite important because of his link with the player that you're going to see in a second. Um, why can't I find Raphael? I seem to be... Oh, there we go. He was right there. For some reason I was looking for Spanish. I don't know. My brain. But um, yeah, he's a really, really solid right back. I think if you do use Vidic there or Smalling or another one of the United ones, you can actually put any right back in and that won't be an issue. But uh, yeah, Koscielny and Raphael seem to work out really nicely. Raphael with his 81 pace and he's also really good going forward with that 78 dribbling. Now... In cam here, I have Shinji Kagawa. Now, this guy is one of my favoured uh, players, even in real life. I know he's a United player, but I really do like him. His time at Dortmund just shows just what he's got, and I kind of feel like United are wasting him. They seem to be so eager to play him out wide, and every time they've put him in the middle, he's been sensational. So, um... Obviously, in terms of the title, I'd love to see United keep playing him on, out the wide. But in terms of seeing amazing football, I think Kagawa's brilliant. And he's also really good in the game. Great dribbling, great passing, and great pace as well. In the next uh, centre mid position, we actually have Kisuki Honda. Now, this guy is another one that a lot of people go nuts over. And it's not very often you actually get a Japanese link in a team. But... Um, this, these two are brilliant. I love Honda. He's left-footed, I believe. That uh, seemed oh, from my gameplay of him. He seemed left-footed. I'm 90. Yeah, he's left-footed. Uh, and uh, he's got really good pace, really good shot, unbelievable free kick stats, really good dribbling, really good passing, and even pretty solid heading for what he is. He's high attacking, low uh, defensive work rate, so he's always up the pitch. So when he's your middle guy, that sometimes does actually let you down a bit. But in general, he is a really solid one. And it's basically like playing a 4-2-2, 4-2-1-2. Two one, if that makes sense. So like he's more like a cam, and then the other two are more like a centre mid. He's pushing up a lot. More. But anyway, that's irrelevant. And uh, anyway, moving on to the next player in the squad, and it is Diara. I can't remember if I, if I had him in a centre mid or a defensive mid. I think I must have had him in a defensive mid. This guy is another one that's getting so many links all over the place. You can actually afford to play these guys in cams and defensive mids because they're just getting links all over the place. And uh, Diara here, uh, you will see they'll go. Their links will go up in a sec. But uh, Diara is an absolutely outstanding uh, defensive midfielder. There, seventy nine pace, uh, 74 passing, 76 dribbling and 80 defending. So solid, high defensive, medium attacking work rate and just a really, really strong, bulky centre mid for you there to uh, do your defensive duties. Now, 
Into left forward, we have Mark Gonzalez here. This guy is basically just pace, 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 and scores some lovely goals. 90 pace there and 79 shot. He's got a really nice finish on him. Really good if you want to cut inside of him. Uh, four star skills, which is great. He is left footed, so it's quite tricky to get the shot away on his right. Uh, more often than not, he won't. It won't actually go in with his right. But doing the shot where you hit it with your left foot across the face of the goal is so overpowered and really, really good. In right forward here we have Tosic. This is another one where, like Sako, you don't have to use the informed version. Even Sako you could stick in Kabul if you're not a fan of his not informed one and it would do the same job. But uh, yeah, Tosic here, uh, just again, you can use his not informed and those are amazing stats for a card. 88 pace, 80 shot, 87 dribbling and 76 passing. Now, he is left footed so he's got that 4 star skills and you can afford to cut in onto his left foot and get those finesses in, get those whip shots in. And he's relatively cheap. You can pick him up for like 12 15k i mean he cost me 10,000 coins that's an absolute bargain you can get him super cheap if you have your eyes open for him and then last but most certainly not least we have the guy that i did the bargain gem on and he is quality that is rondon this guy is just an absolute legend he's got his two uh russian league links next to him and he's got a 96 strength that's his main attribute now uh, we're gonna go on uh, go on some gameplay here and i'll talk a little bit more about the team there so like I said, Rondon has that thing with, uh, with the strength and the heading and the bulkiness, but I have discussed all of that in the bargain gem, so I would recommend you go and watch that video just to see how amazing he really is and see some of the extent of the incredible goals he was banging away. Now, the uh, work rates of this team are so solid. The, the fullbacks basically have the perfect uh, work rates with high, medium. I love that in fullbacks. The centre backs have um, medium, high, so it means they're not going up too much, but they also have high, so they're always back when you need them. Uh, the Kazuki Honda's high, low, so he's bombing up the pitch. Diara's high, medium, so high defensive, medium attacking, so always defending. Uh, Kagawa's high attacking, medium defensive, so he's more focused on the attacking. And then both Tosic and Gonzalez have uh, medium low and high medium so slightly better attacking which is just perfect it means they're up the field when you want them to be and they also do a little bit in defense and Rondon's medium medium so it's perfect work rate team really really solid in that aspect and for me it is one of the better squads I have used on this game. So that is also the end of this video, guys. Leave a like if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new around here. Please go and build this team. I'd recommend it. It's a very solid one. Stick in the comments down below if you do go check it out and what you think of it. But for instance, fortune, have a nice day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.